Hey friends, Steve Guttenberg here and I am the Audiophiliac and today I have a subwoofer setup tip and that is sit close to your subwoofer. You know, th there's this idea that so the bass is omnidirectional and you can put a sub anywhere in the room and that is just ridiculous and I have a simple test to prove that it, how ridiculous that is. Play a low frequency tone, play 50 hertz, play 80 hertz, any low frequency tone through, through your sub and then just walk around the room. As you walk around the room, you will hear how radically that, that 50 hertz tone goes up and down. Some parts of the room, it'll disappear entirely. Some parts of the room, it'll get loud and loud and loud. It'll be, you'll be shocked. It could be 15, 20 dB difference between the lowest and the loudest parts. So no, bass is not un omnidirectional. Just forget that idea. So, you know, one of the ways of placing a subwoofer is to do essentially what I just said, well, actually, you put the subwoofer in the listening position and then walk around the room and find the place where the bass is the most even. But my main tip for today is to actually put the sub as close to the listening position as possible. I learned this actually one day when I was in a demo with Dr. Sue from Sue Research. He makes subwoofers and he, had, he was playing, uh, he had a wall of subwoofers. He's a subwoofer manufacturer. It was a wall of subwoofers, and the speakers were these tiny uh, NHT Super Zeros. And he was playing like a demo disc of like, you know, cannons and explosions and low frequency sounds and church organs and stuff. And it, it sounded really, really good. And he was using like a cheap receiver, but these little tiny speakers and this wall of subwoofers. So when the, the two minute demo was over, I said to him, wow. That was amazing. Which one of those uh, subwoofers back there were you playing? And he said, none of them. And I said, really? Wow, that's pretty cool. What were you doing? He says, no, it's the one that's right next to you. I said, really? oh, that one down there? Wow, that is so cool. So the idea that if you're in the near field of a subwoofer, you're hearing the, the bass more directly and less of the room effect of the bass. And I've, I've been using that recently at the CNET a listening room in New York City and it's working out really well because that room is kind of iffy with uh, with bass and I said yeah I, I should do that so I'm passing that along to you it's it's actually pretty simple I guess the hardest part depending on how your room is set up is getting the wire the power cable and the signal cable to the subwoofer but if that's possible try it it's an easy experiment to do and see if you can get smoother more even bass by sitting closer to the subwoofer anyway that's it for today. If you like these videos, share them, like them, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I hope to see you again here very, very soon. Thanks. Bye.